Hello, welcome to another episode of Steve and Austin Wrestling Toy Figure Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Austin. Um, it's the first video of 2024, so we thought we'd do something a bit big. Um, and if you look at the display behind us, it's a little bit different from what we normally have, and that's because of what we're talking about today. Over to the right, we have all of our Steve Austin Mint on Card figures, and over this side, we have our Funko Pops. In the middle is a few clues as to what we're going to be talking about today. Um, it's our AEW collection. We have one of the toy belts at the top there, Cody Rhodes Funko Pop from New Japan Pro Wrestling, and a few of the rings. Got the scale ring directly behind me and the basic rings on the lower shelf there. Um, we were originally going to try and collect all of the um, AEW unrivaled figures and maybe the unmatched, but here in the UK it just became a bit too difficult to keep track of all of the unrivaled ones with all of the Target, Walmart, AEW shop and ringside collectible exclusives, one of 3000s, 300s and all of that. So um, we made a decision to not try and collect all of them anymore. Um, we'll go through what we had collected so far and we'll open a few figures. Ready? Yeah. All right, deep breath. First one, series one, number one. Cody. Cody. Um, this is series one, not series one A. What was series one A all about? Um, the, the different skin tones. Yeah, so they released the whole of series one and they didn't like the skin colour of the figures, so then they released series one A um, to replace them. But this is series one, Cody. So let's put him over there. Then we've got number two, series one. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. Uh, might lose Austin for a bit with all the figures we're going to show. Number three, series one. Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson. Uh, number four, series one. Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson. Then we've got series five, number one. Brandy Rhodes. Brandy Rhodes. And we've got series one, number six. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho. Um, then we have series two, number 10. John Moxley. John Moxley. Then we have series two, number 11. Hangman Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page. Then we have series two, number 12. M. G. F. M. J. F. That's a J. Clearly a J. Send you back to school. Series two, number 13. Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix. Oh, yeah. Series two, number 14. Pentagon Junior. Pentagon Junior. And series two, number 15. Dustin Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes. Then we have series three, number 19. Pack. Pack. Then we have series three, number 20. Riho. Riho. Then we have series 321. Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. Then we have series three, number 22. Darby Allen. Darby Allen. And series 323. Matt Jackson. Matt Jackson. Series 324. Nick Jackson. Nick Jackson. Then we have series 428. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. Mm -hmm. Then we have series 429. Cody. Cody. Then we have series 432. Santana. Santana. <laughs> And we have series 433. Ortiz. 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 A few more to go. We're nearly there. Series 538. Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky. And we have series 539. Frankie Kazarian. Yep, Frankie Kazarian. Then we have series six, number 46. Jake Hager. Jake Hager. Then we have 
Series 753. Lance Archer. Lance Archer. Series 868. Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander. Then we have series 977. Thunder Rosa. Thunder Rosa. And we have series 10, number 84. Taz. No, it's an A. It's Taz. And then our last three, but from the unmatched series, is four, four, and Series four, number 26. Hangman Adam Page. Hangman Adam Page. Series four, number 27. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. And in our last one, series five, 36. Kenny Omega. Kenny Omega. So how many figures is that in total? Mm -mm 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 Other than a lot. Oh my We've lost count. We're not going to. We'll, we'll, we'll maybe have an answer for you in a second when we come back. So, what we're going to do is pick some of these out um, that we're going to open up and have a look at in greater detail. Um, and we'll be back shortly. See you in a sec. Right. So, uh, it turned out we had how many figures that we just showed off? 32. 32 figures. Um, we looked through them and worked out which ones we are going to be keeping and which ones we're going to be selling on. Um, and now we're going to go through what we've decided to keep. Uh, no idea which series they are from because we've completely had to trash the boxes. That's the only bad thing with AEW figures is there's no way of retaining the box. You just got to rip them to pieces and get the figures out. So we'll just go through them and um, see what we've got. So first one up, we have, uh, we can test Boston and see if you can remember what their name is. Remember what his name was? Hangman. Hangman. Maker. Adam. Oh, page hangman adam page um uh from when this figure first came out everyone talked about how big his boots were mm. they're like boats they're so big and when i was trying to stand him up he doesn't like to stand up um you can niggle it a little bit so maybe offset him and he will eventually stand um and he comes with this lasso um, do you know what lassos are for? What? Catching cows. Or yeah, or catching cows and stuff like that. And he comes with the pistol shooting finger. It's um, like a very weird lasso. I thought they did like that. Then yeah, well, this, I think he just like wears it like that when he brings it to the ring or he just holds it in his hand when he brings it to the ring. And then when he wants to lasso someone, he unwrap it and throw it. So the figure has uh, a little bit of detail on the back. It's got had a hangman Adam Page written on the back of his jacket and hangman written on his pants. Got a bit of detail down the side of the knee pads and a little bit of detail on the boots. Comes with a bandana wrapped around his neck and a bit more detail on his shoulders. Next up, we've got to remember which ones we've done, which ones we haven't done. Um, what was this one called? Uh, no idea. Three letters. Um. Yep. Hmm? Um. Oh. Um. It wasn't G. It was. P. M J F. Mm. Maxwell Jacob Freeman, I think it stands for. Um. And he comes with this Burberry style scarf. How does it feel? Feel nice and soft. Oh, no, it's a bit itchy, really. A bit scratchy. Um, and he comes with a bit of tattoo detail on his right arm. And what does that say? I have no idea what that says. There's some letters written on his side, but I can't make out what they are. Probably says made in China for all I know. But um, on the pants, got a little bit of detail on the front. MJF written on the back of the pants, no detail on the boots, um, but a bit of that Burberry pattern on the back of the knee pads again. Um, and he comes with the AEW microphone. So 
that's MJF. Next up, what was he called? It's not Rey Mysterio, it's Rey. Um, oh, it's. Do you remember the bird that comes out of the ashes from the fire ashes? What's that called? Bolt? No. Ray Phoenix was this one. Um, in his black and white attire. I, I like this one as opposed to the black and gold, but recently Big Pet followed this in the. Was it the. Might have been the Unrivaled series or Unmatched, I don't remember. And then you've got the uh, Supreme Edition one that's come out since. And there's a new unmatched one in white and gold as well. But I like the black and white one. Um, it says Mexa King on his knee pad because he's from Mexico. And Mexican food is Austin's favourite food. Um, just a little tidbit there. Lots of tattoo detail on this figure. All down his right arm. Um, across his chest. Down his left arm and on his back. Loads of detail on the legs or tights of, and on the boots. Nice mould feel to that on there as well. Yeah. And then of course the mask with the white tail and loads of detail on the front and all the way around. So there's Ray Phoenix screaming. Uh, next up, we have his tag team partner. What was he called? Why? Nope. He was a shape. <gasps> oh, Pentagon? Yeah, and he's not senior. He's... Junior. Yeah, Pentagon Junior. Again, in his black and white attire. Um, sticking his tongue out, waiting to find some ice cream, I think. Um, loads of detail on the mask and the expression in the face that you can make out through the mask. Uh, tattoo detail all down the left arm and the right arm. He's doing his zero fear um, gesture with his fingers there. It comes with a mic holding hand on the other one and then another mic holding hand. No punching hands with this one. Uh, black and white pattern throughout the figure and texture detail on the boots again there and some white dragons either side of his boots and knee pad. That's Pentagon Junior. Next up we have he's Cody Rhodes' brother. Something Rhodes? It is, and it begins with a duh. Damien. No. Damien. If you were getting rid of all the dust on a shelf, Dusty you would be. Rhodes. Dustin, yeah, Dustin Rhodes, and it's got natural written down the back of his top there, tattoo detail, red and black face paint, uh, tattoos on his left arm, what does that say, perseverance, the per is behind the white there, um, <laughs> and yeah, tattoo detail down both sides, picked up the Dustin Rhodes because we don't have a gold dust in our collection, and it was easier we've and only cheaper. Got a basic of gold. Yeah, we've got a basic. We haven't got an elite gold gold dust, unfortunately. And it was easier and cheaper to get the Dustin Rhodes and get him opened up. Um, so we have a Dustin Rhodes as opposed to a gold dust. Next up, we have what was he called? He, he's the name of a. Colour that's also a fruit. Orange. Yeah. Cass Cassidy. Cassidy. Yeah, orange Cassidy. And do you remember what I told you about this figure? No. That a lot of people didn't like about his trousers. Uh his leg didn't move. That's right, yeah. It's a bit tricky to get him to get his leg to go backwards and forwards because of the clothing that he's wearing. So he can't really do a high kick. That's about as high as it goes. Um, but a good looking figure looks just like the real perp thing um, in his denim jacket, white vest, sunglasses, jeans and the trainers. And he comes with his pocket hand on the left arm 
and you've got the pocket hand, two mic holding hands, and one fist of fury. To be fair, in his wrestling matches, all he does most of the time is walk up to you and go, uh, and kick you in the ankle. So I guess that is pretty accurate as well with what he does do. So that's Orange Cassidy. Um, next up, we have one half of SCU. What was he called? Um, Scorpio Sky. Scorpio Sky, yeah, you remember that one really well. Um, and he comes with the SCU logo on the back of his hooded jacket. Uh, the S on both sides of his tights. Uh, no tattoo detail that I can see on the arms. And plain white boots. And he comes with the first title that we've had in this collection. And it's, what title was it? AEW Champion. No, you've got to look underneath the AEW. Tag Team Championship. Tag Team Championship. And it's really shiny, looks really good. Yeah. That's Scorpio Sky. What about this one? This one was a bit hard for you to, to pronounce, to read. I told you his first name was Frankie. No. Frankie Kazarian. Mm -hmm. Again, um, he's got uh, the white jacket on for the SCU written on the front. And on the back, it's got, this is the worst town I've ever been in written on the back. Black and gold spiky hoodie there. No tattoo detail that you can see on the bottom half of him. Not going to take the jacket off at this point. But it's got Kaz written across the bottom of his pants and plain back black knee pads and boots. So that's Frankie Kazarian and he also comes with the AEW Tag Team title belt. Next up we have, what was he called? Jake. He H. Jake Hager, this one, um, comes with this hooded jumper on and underneath it's got this plastic film wrapped around his head and body. Do you know why that's there? Mm, so, because so the material doesn't rub? Yep, that's right. So the material doesn't rub off on the figure and we get black staining. A little bit of, I thought that was a bit of staining there on the knees there, but it's just a bit of shadow. Um, so Jake Hager there with his dark brown hair which isn't accurate um, he's a very very blonde person um, but I'm not upset with how it looks um, and again we got the Jake Hager because uh, we don't have a Jack Swagger figure uh, um, and this was again easier and cheaper to pick up so we got the Jake Hager in his tight shorts green gold and black pattern and his green and black boots Jake Hager. Next up, we have this one. The clue is in the LA. It's written on his tights. Lance. What do you call someone that shoots a bow and arrow? Archer. Yeah, Lance Archer. He used to be in WWE, I think, as Vance or Vance Archer. I think it's the same person, or I could be completely wrong. But um, a big old figure, if you put him next to someone like Ray Phoenix, you can see the height difference. I was expecting him to be a lot bigger, actually. Um, but again, lots of tattoo detail on this one, all down his left arm, all down his back, and on his right arm. Feels a bit looser than the rest of the figures. Um, but lots of tattoo. Um, pattern and artwork and writing all across the tights. What does that say? Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Well, that's a lovely message, isn't it? Um, and that says murder hawk monster. Can't see the hawk on it, but I know that's what it is it, meant to say, murder hawk. And it's got mohawk skeleton skulls on the front of the kick pads in his black and red attire. Lance Archer. Uh, 
Next up, this one had a really long name. Do you remember what she was called? No. She was called Chris Stat Lander. Chris Statlander. Um, come with a bit of hair dye, pink and blue, green face paint, um, KS, yeah, across the front of the top. A uh, little bit of tattoo detail on the left arm. Can we make out what that says? New state. No. That's. Uh, we've got new York state mind. Oh, I guess it's New York state of mind. That's a bit of a saying. Um, and then you've got the starry night shoulder tattoo on the right arm. And what's that there? Can we make out what that says? And then she's got a tattoo with a bow and something on the right leg. Can't make out what it says. And then the green pattern continues on the clothing down the leg and the metal type knee brace with black and silver um, mesh type boots there. A tattoo on the back as well. What's that? That's, um, I think it's home something written on the back there, but can't quite see because of the hair. But there's a tattoo just in there by the hairline. Uh, and next up, after Chris Statlander, is this one. No. What do clouds do when they smash together and they make a lot of noise? Thunder. Thunder, yeah. Um, and it's a type of flower, a red flower. Rose. But it's not rose, it's... Moss. Rosa. Yeah. Thunder Rosa. They're written on the back there. Glad I didn't show you the back first because you would have cheated and read that. Um, so Thunder Rosa comes with this removable head dress thing. I'm not quite sure. Headband, maybe. Headband, yeah. Um, much like the, the Selena Vega Elite. Um, comes with this removable black um, throw shawl. Not sure, black shawl we we'll call it, and then you've got the half face paint um, in white and black, sort of Mexican dead, dead sort of themed uh, face paint, and then you've got the gold skull on the front of the top there, and on the front of the tights, tattoo detail on the upper right thigh, and then Thunder Rosa written on the back of the pants, then you have the silver rose on the left knee pad and a bit of gold detail across the back and then you have some lightning and la mera i don't know what that means mer la mera any idea no um la mera written on the front of one kick pad and just mera written on the left uh so that's thunder rosa our second female wrestler that we've opened up And in our last unrivaled figure, uh, do you remember what this one was called? Oh, Thunder Rosa. Yep, sorry. We missed some hands. We've got two fists, punching fists for Thunder Rosa. Are they his? Uh, they might have been. And two mic holding hands for Thunder Rosa. And then we've also got. Glasses, sunglasses. Oh no, these are from that one. And these hands are are these no, these might be these might be Lance Archer's punching hands, maybe. No. No, they're a bit small, a bit big. These are Can punching hands for somebody, maybe for Frankie Kazarian, maybe. But we'll work that out later on. Um, so our last unrivaled figure, do you remember what he was called? Three letters, and you thought the middle letter was an R. R oh, something, A something. That's very, very clever. Yeah, so this is Taz, and I remember this was series 10, um, unrivaled, and it comes with removable sunglasses, and this removable black jacket, I assume, uh, black top underneath, brownie brown trousers and black and white trainers. You've got the two mic holding hands on him and he comes with a changeable head where he looks to be shouting, maybe banged his toe on the table or something. 
Um, sunglasses we already mentioned, and he comes with a, another mic hold in hand, literally mic hold in hand, got a mic in it. Got finger on one hand and finger on the other to match. Um, so that's Taz. And And then we've got the first of our three unmatched figures. Who's this one? Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. And he comes with a changeable head. One smiling and one talking, maybe angry head. Um, suited figure. Again, comes with a mic. What have you got? Hands got? They've got two punching hands that come with Cody. And two mic holding hands on the body. Long blue coat, blue waistcoat, white shirt underneath, blue trousers and brown shoes looking very smart. That's Cody Rhodes. Then we have, what was this one called? Do you remember what this one's called? Mm, Hagen Man. Hagen Man, Adam. Oh. Something's in a book. Page. Yeah, Hangman Adam Page and comes with a black and white shirt to match the black and white um, theme that runs through his wrestling attire. Comes with two of these little plastic cups for drinking orange juice. Um, and he comes with these three cans of Prime. No? Maybe, no, three cans of drink, but cream, red, and blue. And he comes with another mic holding hand. On the figure, you have the shooting pistol finger, the another mic cup holding hand, I guess. Black and white shirt with the cowboy detail around the collar and cuffs. Nice big gold buckle on the brown leather belt. Blue jeans and the brown cowboy boots with some sort of studded effect across the top of them. And then our last, last. Last one that we opened today is, who's this one? Kenny. Omega. Kenny Omega comes with removable sunglasses. The AEW title that's kept on by a bit of plastic um, elastic. It looks giant. Yeah, it does look very big, doesn't it? There's, have we got another one there? We haven't. Oh, yeah, there's one on his that, yeah, over there. Um, comes with these dog tag necklace, navy blue shirt underneath, this really colourful sort of abstract jacket with an AEW microphone in hand, mic holding hand. No other hands with Kenny on this one. Comes with the ripped jeans and the white trainers. Um, and that's our promo attire, Kenny Omega. Now, just before we go, we'll just talk about a few more loose figures that we already had opened. Um, and that is this unrivaled series one, Kenny Omega. Um, in the black coat, one sleeve, sort of wrist gauntlet. You've got the one winged angel. Why has he got one winged angel thing on the back of his coat? Oh, okay. Because his finishing move is called the one winged angel. So that's Unrivaled Series 1. Then we have this Kenny Omega um, from Unrivaled Series three maybe or four i can't quite remember um and he has the AEW title on the front there and this black waistcoat with the one winged angel down that side mm. uh, i think this is like right when he was a heel what's a heel in wrestling don't know. a bad guy oh. yeah heels a bad guy and faces are good guys face. yeah face i didn't come up with it but yeah Lots of detail in this one down the front of the tights and across the kick pads. Um, no tattoos on Kenny Omega, he's um, tattooless as far as I'm aware. 
Then we have this unmatched Kenny Omega figure with the Omega symbols on either side of his tights. And I guess you can see on the kick pads as well, uh, blue and gold and sort of a purpley color in their attire. Um, Kenny Omega unmatched. Then we have the Kenny Omega from the uh, scale ring set. Uh, black and green sort of matrix style, I guess, theme. And got a bit of computer um, circuit board on the front pattern of the kick pads. Um, uh, yeah, a different hairstyle on each of these, uh, well, hair color on each of these figures. Um, that's that one. And then our last Kenny Omega is from the Blood and Guts 2-pack, um, the barbed wire deathmatch with um, John Moxley. And it's got all the blood all over his head and face and hair. Again, a different style um, hair, color, color, different color hair. Yeah. And then on the front, can we make out anything it says on this? Death. Oh, yeah. Barbed wire deathmatch. Yeah. Uh, Revolution 3rd, July. No, 7th of March, 21. In America, they do their dates differently. So we would read that the 3rd of July, 21. But they do, uh, they do March, the 7th, 21. Um, yeah. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the blood all over this figure on the upper body. And then he's got the jeans with the kick pads, which has a very similar theme to this one. They're the same kick pads. Yeah, same knee pads even that are on the unmatched. So yeah, that's all of the um, AEW figures that we're uh, showing off today. Um, the ones we haven't unboxed, we'll be trying to sell them on to someone that's uh, missing those figures from their collection. Anything else you want to say? What's your favourite one at ones we opened today? Mm. Which one? Which one? Come on, pick one, pick one, pick one. This was a short video. That's Scorpio's got. I thought that might be your favourite one because you remembered his name really quickly. So Scorpio Sky <laughs> is the um, favourite of Austin. Mine will be the Pentagon Junior. I think that's just a really good looking figure. Um, really mean looking. Uh, yeah, that, that's everything from us this time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hit the bell and you'll get notified of all our future videos that do come up. Can't comment. Because it's a kid's video. Because it's a kid's video. That's right. Um, but we've got more videos to come. So keep an eye out for that bell if you do um, subscribe and follow us. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.